During the exploration of the Titanic wreck, researchers discovered something strange. The front of the ship, the bow, was surprisingly intact, while the back, the stern, was in ruins, almost 2,000 feet apart. How could two parts of the same ship, sinking at the same time, be in such different conditions? Back in 1912, the Titanic, called Unsinkable, hit an iceberg far from Newfoundland. Over 2,200 people were on board, and 1,500 tragically lost their lives. Eyewitnesses who jumped into the freezing Atlantic were the only ones to see the disaster unfold. Rescue came too late for many, and the full truth remained hidden for decades. When the Titanic was finally found 73 years later, it was clear that the legendary 300-foot gash didn't exist. Instead, there was a 30-foot crack that allowed water to flood the ship over two and a half hours, matching survivor accounts. But another mystery remained. Why was the bow intact while the stern was shattered? Using high-tech sonar and 3D modeling, researchers discovered the answer. The stern plunged into the ocean at 80 kilometers per hour, spinning violently, smashing its decks. The bow, designed to cut through water, slid gracefully beneath the waves, almost untouched. And what about the ship breaking into two pieces? The 3D scans revealed the stern broke under the weight of the sinking bow, above water, then tumbled 2,000 feet away, scattering debris across 3.2 square kilometers. Bacteria accelerate the decay, and experts warn that soon, the ship will lose its shape forever. The Titanic's secrets are slowly unraveling, but its mysteries and its tragic story will live on. We hope you found this Einstein video informative and will like and share it. Thank you very much for your kind comments. We will meet again in the next great video.